Imagine your career taking the steering wheel of your life. The driver's main focus was to only speed down the fast lane of career success. The cost? Every other aspect of being human is thrown out the window, hurting your relationships, your health, and overall happiness. You don't have to imagine it, because it's real. It's called hustle culture, glorifying the mentality that one must be always hustling or working hard to pursue goals, leaving people to feel pressured to work tirelessly, without rest, and quite literally becoming a money-making machine. Rich people don't sleep eight hours a day. Because I got the hustle muscle. Work like hell. I mean, you just have to put in 80 to 100 hour weeks every week. You're not going to outwork them. We have been conditioned to believe that if you just work hard enough, you can succeed and achieve anything you want in life. But I think there's more to it than just that. And yes, it might happen if you dedicate a thousand percent of yourself to work and lose sleep and resort to self-motivation to push through the pains despite all the forces of the universe working against you. Whatever your goal for hustling, making six figures in the shortest amount of time possible, or earning a passive income due to around the clock hard work. Yes, you're accomplishing as many tasks as possible, but the truth is that working long hours leads to poor mental and physical health, increased anxiety and depression. But it doesn't have to be like this. There's another way. A way to balance demands of building a company while maintaining your sanity, allowing yourself time to enjoy yourself and just chill out. The Walden Experiment. I went to the woods because I wanted to live deliberately, to front only the essential facts of life and see if I could not learn what they had to teach and not when I came to die, discover that I had not lived. So all of this year, pretty much, I've been living out of my four-wheel drive and I find this lifestyle is where I'm able to live my most intentional life. But just recently, I did stumble upon this book called Walden. It's written by Henry David Thoreau, an American transcendentalist writer, and it's a reflection upon his simple living in natural surroundings. And to be honest, it's given me a path to withdraw from social conventions and obligations. So one day after reading the book, I was inspired and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go head out into the woods in my four wheel drive and just go live a week in the woods, completely isolated from society, just living by myself, not talking to a soul for the entire seven days. And it changed my life. Coming to the woods to live for a week, it gave me this refreshed perspective on life. A way for me to figure out what kind of life I should be living and for me to live more deliberately. Something deep within me is really attracted to the idea of cutting off all my ties, giving away my money and going off to live in the harsh beauty of nature. Then later realizing that my survival skills aren't up to par and I die a slow and painful death by eating poisonous seeds. But seriously, slow living it's less about just throwing away your phone, moving to the countryside, starting to grow veggies or walking slowly, or being less productive at work and missing deadlines. It's more about being in control of your own rhythms of life and finding a healthy balance between slowness and speed, productivity and rest. Similarly, the simple life is all about living with the essentials and nothing more. No need for wanting anything more than we actually do. And this frees up space in life for what is truly important. Walden is a warning of the self-imposed slavery that can flow from mindlessly dedicating one's life to the never-ending pursuit of nice things. <laughs> and don't get me wrong, I'm not arguing that we should completely quit work and just go live like hermits, but rather seeing work as a basis for self-reliance and a source of spiritual fulfillment and a way to live a morally good life. Work should not be difficult or excessive or distract from one's proper pursuits, but instead be indistinguishable from leisure. The contentment and self-respect that a person earns through this kind of work can elevate you and bring you closer to nature and to yourself. I think we should discover what work is right for us. I think we can get trapped into jobs that we hate just to make money, just to pay the bills and just get trapped in that cycle. I see a lot of people in my life living that way and I just wish they would see that there is an alternative solution. And yes, it's hard, I'm not saying it's easy. And right now I think this is a great opportunity for me to say that I'm really grateful for the opportunity that I have in my life to just do what I want, live freely. And I wanna teach more people about how to do that because I think it's a truly freeing and liberating experience. But for example, Thoreau focuses on two kinds of work, physical labor and intellectual pursuits. On one hand, he builds his own house, a modest cabin made from wooden brick, 
In addition, he works every morning in his bean field, turning up soil for the good of the plants. Not strenuously, but meditatively. He took pride in earning his living by his own hands. And it is his physical labor that provides him with shelter, food, and the other necessities that make his time at Walden possible. On the other hand, he devotes himself to reading, has great reverence in literature and philosophy, and wishes more people would see themselves as perpetual students as he sees himself. But since living in the woods, for seven days out of my four drive it really taught me a lot about just being present in nature and just appreciating all the simple things that we have around us right now like right now i'm sitting in this pine forest and there's these just beautiful tall pines all around me i think if we just slow down a bit and just take time to be present in this moment we come to this realization we can be so damn happy with the most simplest things that exist. Just sitting here and listening to these birds chirping and the rustling of the leaves in the trees. There's just something so simple, satisfying and beautiful about it. You must live in the present. Launch yourself on every wave. Find your eternity in each moment. Fools stand on their island of opportunities and look toward another land. There is no other land. There is no other life but this. Thanks guys for watching the video. I really stretched myself creatively in this one and I had a heap of fun making it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it just as much as I did making it. Make sure to give us a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys in the next one.